Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at Corner Bouquet. This is, um, we've done a few things with it, but this is a stamp set which is free. You can't buy it and you get it for a qualifying order of £45. So in the celebration catalogue, which runs to the 28th of February, if you place an order of £45 or more, you can get this stamp set absolutely free. So I thought we would do something um, a little bit different with it, and we're going to team it up with the quite curvy sentiments, because those sentiments run perfectly down through the centre of the card if we want them to. So we're going to use those and um, the stamp set is a lovely red rubber stamp set and you've got two differing flowers that you can put in the corners and you've got a leaf and then you've got another little tiny flower and as I say we did quite a lot with that tiny little flower and we're not going to not do anything with it. So I need to get some larger blocks out which I haven't done so let me just have a look and we want a now I've, I've probably shown you this before I have a you can get case the case to store all of your blocks in and so that you can keep them sort of clean and tidy in their own cases so we'll take this one and this one out and as I've said before if you don't have the stamping up blocks they are in my opinion the best blocks you can get on the market because they are it's the thickness of them that makes the difference they have a great cushion but also you've got this ridge that runs all the way round. you never get your fingers in the way so we're going to put this on and just sort of put it in the center we can put this one on and again i'm just going to put it so so it's sort of leveled up a bit on there okay and then we are using the Oso oh ombre again another free celebration um, I've discussed it with you quite a lot so I'm not going to go through it again this time we're using a piece of the blue and um, we are using the one with the little sort of circles on so the patterned part and then we're going to do another one using the um, the ombre side so there's two sides to that one and we're going to use the one which is the garden green so this is the Bermuda Bay that is the garden green we're going to start with the Bermuda Bay and these are quick and simple cards so the Bermuda Bay um, I'm teaming it up with because I want it to be darker I'm teaming it up with Misty Moonlight so Misty Moonlight is quite dark but that's what we want and we are going to ink up now again as I've said because it's quite a large stamp I always ink it so that I can do it um, from the I can see that it's all inked and then with our grid paper we can line it up so we know that that's straight and we're going to put one down in on the bottom as tight to the bottom as you can and to the sides and then we're just going to stamp that down so making sure that I've got it completely where I want it and down in on the middle and then we'll lift it up so you've got that lovely piece coming down in the bottom and then we are going to take the other one because as I say they're both corners and they work really well together and we're going to take this one up to the other side and again we're going to take it from as near to the bottom as we can and then just press it down again uh, with it being a large stamp I do leave it to rest just for a few seconds longer than I would with a smaller stamp so that all the ink then 
gets um you know distributed clearly but you can see the lovely patterning it makes so i just need to clean that off did i put my um where's my simply chamois gone mm, what did i do with that um, 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 um. Right, I'll leave that for a minute um, and I will find it in a second. It's obviously down on the side and I've just put it... Oh no, here it is. Right, I have it... Whoops, I was doing some um, spoon. Very good for if you're re-inking. I was doing some re-inking and... Uh, oh, that's got a bit dry. I might need to go and uh, just give that a bit of a wet. I think we should have enough just on here to do it. But um, you will find that if you don't close the box or if you don't um, keep your Simply Chamois in a, um, a bag, it will, um, it will dry out, which is absolutely fine. You just moisten it in some water and do that when you're about to clean it. So I'm just going to make sure that I've cleaned this off quite well because what I don't want is for this dark colour to go through onto the other one. So... There we go. Those are ready for the next one. OK, so we are now going to take the quite curvy. And we've got thinking of you makes my day, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. You're one in a million. And I think we'll have. Let's open it up and see which sentiment we're going to use. Um, that one looks quite a nice one. Don't even know what that one says, but it looks um, it looks quite a good size. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. That will work quite nicely, won't it, for a birthday card? Okay, so when it's a very long one, make sure that you just let it rest down on your side for. Um, a second before you pick it up because what happens otherwise is that you will end up getting I'm just getting another block out um, if you try and pick it up and put it in on here like this you can quite often get it so that it's not straight um, so that you know it, it doesn't sort of work very well put the block down to it pick it up and you know that your words are going to be quite straight. So we're going to take the, again, the same colour. So this is the Misty Moonlight. Make sure that it's stamped up beautifully. And then we're just going to put that straight down through the middle. So wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And then we can put that on to our base and you've got a very easy simple pretty card with using just that one color now if you want to let me just get my simply chamois and clean this up just a bit um, with my little edge just take that down like that okay if you want to just add something to add just a little bit of a colour into it. So let's take that out because we don't want that sentiment anymore. What you can do is to take a very bright contrasting colour. So I'm taking Magenta Madness and I'm just opening it up. So this is a very, very bright colour. And we can take this one back because we don't want this anymore. And I'm just going to take a the smallest of the blocks because we don't need anything any bigger. And I'm going to take the little tiny flower. So let's take the little tiny flower in here. We've done a lot with this little flower. I do like it. And all I'm going to do with this is just to add just a little bit of colour to it so we'll just ink this up and because it's a very bright colour it's going to go with a bit of luck it's going to go quite nicely over the top of the 
couple of these ones now it's going to be more sort of purple but that's fine so I'm just taking it out whoops not particularly straight but that doesn't matter that much and just sort of dot a few about I don't want too many so I'm only got one two three four five I think that's all right on there because as I say I don't want too much so we'll have one just up on here we'll have one over there and we'll have one down on there so we've just got three on that one so then when I put this on here you've just taken a little bit of color not a lot but just taken it in and I think that that works quite nicely so that's the one with the spotties now let's have a look at it with just the the ombre um, paper and this one is the garden green now I'm going to use for this one I'm going to make it quite um, I'm going to put it onto a base of black so I'm actually going to do it in black so we're going to do exactly the same thing and again use a good juicy black ink memento is fine um, I use memento quite a lot but I also use other ones um, but whatever you want and again you want to line it right down to the bottom as far as you can give it a good press allow it to rest just for a second and then pick it up and then turn it round to the other side take the your black ink And again make sure it's well inked up because it is quite a large stamp and again just right down in on the bottom give it a good press like that so we've now got those coming in which looks rather lovely and then we need to take our sentiment excuse my little dog um, I think I'm going to have a hooray for you on this one because I want it to be quite sort of bold so let's take this one out and again you know rest it down on your surface then take your block to it and pick it up because then you know that you've got it exactly where you want it then we're going to take the black ink that up again over the top And then this time, turn it again onto the side, put this slap bang in the centre, like that. And again, you've got this really nice sort of, um, I like it when uh, um, the sentiment sort of comes down at one side. And again, we're going to take the Magenta Madness. And as I say, you do need a bright colour because otherwise it's not going to show up. And again, we're just going to put it in over the top. Doesn't matter if it's not absolutely perfect. Um, we'll have one sort of down, two, three, four. We'll have a little one down there as a five. Turn it round this side and we'll just have one up here. One down there and one just in the middle. So you've just picked up just a little bit of colour in that flower, which just breaks up the complete blackness of it. And then on this one, I'm putting this in onto a black background because then that picks it up. So you've got two very simple cards, but they really make a statement. So let me take those blocks off. I'm going to clean them in a minute so that they're not in the way. So we've got this one, which is toned in with the blue, like that. And we've got the one with the, so that's the Bermuda Bay with misty moonlight. And this is the um, granny apple green. And that's toned in with black and just a little accent with the magenta madness. So I hope you enjoyed that. 
Um, see you again very soon. And as always, please stay safe and well and be kind. Bye-bye.